don't see it. That's why 23,000 Arts and Humanities groups invite you to find something you'll get excited about. Just call for a free brochure. I think I'm getting into this. They're tuning up. The Arts and Humanities. There is something in it for you. New York, where arts and minds create excitement. Find out what's going on in your community. There are a lot of new faces at Channel 2 News, but they're not new to New York. In fact, you've watched them pound the city beat for years. John Johnson and David Diaz, journalists with a lifetime of New York experience. McGee Hickey, Lou Young, and Pablo Guzman. Streetwise reporters who break news and make waves. Ira Joe Fisher and Dr. Max Gomez. What matters to New Yorkers matters to them. They're some of the best and brightest reporters this city has to offer. New York to the bone, only on Channel 2 News. I've had the same friends since I was a little kid. But this year, some of them started playing with these other kids. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's cool making new friends and all, but they weren't like us. They were, you know, different. And I heard my big brother saying some pretty bad stuff about people like them. But they seemed pretty cool, and we had a pretty good time. So, well, maybe my brother doesn't know everything. Hey, Carlos, come on, we need you. Don't be afraid. Be your friend. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've been ordered off the air. My thanks to Boys to Men, Gary Marshall and Bruce Willis. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, everybody. We make pants. This is CBS. I talk to people. That's what I do. There are many layers in a city most people never see. I can take you places you've never been. Put you in contact with people you never talked to or wouldn't talk to. And maybe you'll agree with that person. And maybe you won't. But at least you get an idea of what someone else's life is really like and what someone else really thinks. And that's a lot. This is my show, Late Nights, right here on New York's Channel 2. <laughs> if you're suffering the aftermath of a violent crime, we can help. We've been there. We're victims of violent crimes who have healed through the support we give each other. Together, we've taken back our lives. Victims for Victims Support Services are all free of charge. Call us at 431-1200. We can help. Good evening, friends. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Tom, and this is the simulcast up and running now, as I'd like to say, on CBS television and radio. It is Wednesday night, the 11th of October, 1995. I just remarked to Mark Kennedy, our car dealer slash floor director, that we've been watching this poor soul vacuum the rug in the opening title piece of this program for, what, nine, ten months now? And Mark said she'll be gone soon. The thought occurs to me, we all will be <laughs> too soon. You know, 50 years from now, I doubt that I will be here. Uh, ben Bradley is with us tonight, the former editor of the Washington Post, who has a wonderful book out uh, about his adventures in newspapering and other fields of endeavor. And then on the toll-free line, the bottom half of the hour, your phone calls for whatever is on your mind, you and T.S. all alone on the telephone. I don't know how many more once-in-a-lifetime days I can take. Uh, the phone rang this morning, and we all got the news that uh, O.J. Simpson would not be on with our friends Tom Brokaw and Katie Couric over on NBC tonight. And we had planned to do something about that with Ben Bradley, as I told you, on Monday, and then take your phone calls on what O.J. said. But since he has had nothing to say, we won't have that to talk about. But a lot of people were upset today. I'm sure that, uh, well, Brian Gumbel was upset because he was not asked to be a part of the team interviewing O.J. Simpson because of his personal friendship. So he was upset. He's not reporting for work this week. So take some time off and rest. And then uh, Brokaw was upset in Liz Smith's column this morning because Katie Couric was, uh, was, was uh, asked to do the interview with him. And I'm upset because I got a call today from the car dealership. I was supposed to get my car tomorrow from the, from the people. And the fellow that polishes new cars has taken a few days off. 
So it'll be Monday before the car polisher comes back in, and probably on that day, the guy that puts the paper mat on the floor will have his day off. <laughs> that won't get done. And then, you know, my little computer that they provide me here to re re respond to your email on Prodigy on CBS, uh, dot natcom, whatever that thing is, that, that went out Sunday night, and it turns out that the keyboard on the ThinkPad is faulty doesn't work. There are three letters that don't work. The, uh, I don't know what they are. The C doesn't work, the N doesn't work, and the space bar doesn't work. So they sent it down to the shop at IBM, and of course the whole keyboard has to be replaced. It'd be too simple just to make this thing where you fix three keys. Let's just take out the whole keyboard. Well, do you have that in stock? Well, of course we don't have that in stock. They never go bad. We'll have to call the factory. I mean, geez, it's one thing from start to finish, you know. So I'm steamed tonight. <laughs> And then to top it all off, you know, this comes in today. I told you the other night about all the stations I've worked at, and you keep carping on this, asking me how many there are in all, and there are thousands and thousands of them. But a guy finds a TV guide from 1980 and sends in, put it up there, Brian, the picture of Dorian, Dorian Gray. There I am with all my hair intact and nice clothes, you know, and look at me now, I'm the wreck of the Hesperus. You know, it's, it's a wonder I can get this act together for television night after night after night. So it's no new car, no computer, and my hair is falling out, you know. Just a great day. I'm so glad you dialed me up tonight. <laughs> Be careful on the toll free, you never know what's coming. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Is there any old business? I don't there, there better not be. <laughs> Back with Ben Bradley and your phone calls on the toll free line. That's all we got tonight. If you want more, tough. <laughs> I'm really not this, I'm really not upset, it's just shtick, you know. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah, weekend with no toys. Everybody hates me, nobody loves me, I think I'll go out and eat some worms. Back with Ben Bradley after these messages, fire up a uh, color teeny. What a thought that is. I'm just beginning to hear the clink of ice in the glasses. We'll be right back after these messages. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Murder was just the beginning. For the boss. PSENG. The power is in your hands. Guaranteed. Fright Fest is back at Six Flags Great Adventure Theme Park. We've scared up the fun with shows and heart-pounding rides. Fright Fest is open every Friday night and all day Saturday and Sunday, so hurry. There's so much fun, the scariest part is missing it. Hi. Tom Mumford writes, I'd like to suggest a new flavor. How about Snapple Cider? Tom, you're on to something. Introducing Snapple Cider Teas, an apple pie, black cherry, and peach melba. Made from the best stuff on earth. There are a lot of new faces at Channel 2 News, but they're not new to New York. In fact, you've watched them pound the city beat for years. John Johnson and David Diaz, journalists with a lifetime of New York experience. McGee Hickey, Lou Young, and Pablo Guzman. Streetwise reporters who break news and make waves. Ira Joe Fisher and Dr. Max Gomez. What matters to New Yorkers matters to them. They're some of the best and brightest reporters this city has to offer. New York to the bone, only on Channel 2 News. <laughs> How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Good to see you. Man, you're peppy. I enjoyed the Slash, nice going, buddy. Hey, oh, Slash! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Okay. Mike now, he's the best. My I thanks to uh, Carol King, and you're on Broadway as well. Yes, I am, and Blood Brothers. I mean, you're doing everything. Congratulations. Everything. Uh, also, uh, my thanks to Margaret uh, Cho and uh, Sharon Stone. Tomorrow, Sandra Bullock. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. <laughs>
It's also where you can go. The new Honda Passport with standard dual airbags and one powerful V6 engine. Hello there. What's happening behind the big screen? Who's in step with music's hottest numbers? What's really rumbling inside TV? Geraldo has the headlines. If it's next week's gossip, then it's on this week's celebrity news. Next, Geraldo. Today at 4. You haven't talked to your kids about drugs. Make an appointment. Yo, Mom, what's up? You're watching my hometown, Brooklyn's Channel 2.